Madison and I'm the day camp coordinator at Metro Parks Toledo. Today we are going to make an upcycled puzzle craft. Take a quick second and think about how many different boxes you have in your house right now. This morning I had cereal for breakfast and that was in a cardboard box. The other day I got a package in the mail and that was in a cardboard box. There are so many different things that we have in cardboard boxes right in our home and what are we just supposed to use those boxes once? Instead, let's use those boxes for something else that we can use over and over again. We're gonna make cardboard box puzzles. Here's a great example of one. We have this fun tent that we ordered a long time ago to use at the parks, and we have had this box sitting around. So we made our puzzle from that. So what will you need? Some type of piece of cardboard from a cardboard box or something you already have. Now you can use the image that's already on the box if it's something like a cereal box but I think I want to draw a picture. The important thing to know though when you're drawing your picture is you want to make sure all the pieces have some type of color on it. Otherwise, it'll be hard to tell where it goes, right? The other things you're going to need are some type of materials to color with. On a cardboard box, I'd recommend markers. Finally, you're going to need some scissors. And like with any time that we're cutting, make sure that you talk to your adult before you use your scissors. So now I'm gonna draw something that's my absolute favorite animal. I'm gonna draw a snake. I just finished coloring my piece of cardboard. I tried to use big shapes. That way when I cut it up to be a puzzle, it won't be so difficult trying to figure out which piece goes where. So I have a snake on a log. Depending on how challenging or easy you want your puzzle to be, you can make the pieces smaller if you want it to be a little more challenging, or bigger if you want it to be just a little bit easier. It might be a good idea to take a picture of your puzzle before you cut it up so you can remember what it's supposed to look like after you put it back together. Before we go, I want to test my puzzle out on my friend Devin. Hey Devin! Hi, how is it going? <laughs> good. This is my friend Devin and she works at the Metro Parks. What do you do again? I am an environmental education specialist. Very cool. So Devin, I made this puzzle out of recycled cardboard. Do you think you could try it out? Yeah, let's give it a try. Wow, you did it. Great job. That was fun. Yeah. So, thank you all for trying this activity out with me today. And remember, this is just one thing that you can do with items you already have in your house. So keep on upcycling. <laughs>